howdy humans uh, welcome back to my channel if you're new here this is Micah with coffee and chaos um, today's video is gonna be how do you keep bullet journaling when your mental health goes a little wonky um, in case you haven't noticed I obviously haven't uploaded anything in a couple of weeks I have videos filmed I just couldn't get myself to do the whole like editing and stuff to go with it. So because I have been fighting a pretty hefty depression slump for the last month or so and a few weeks ago it caught me firmly in its grasp and honestly I've just been getting through each day the best that I can, right? So it hit me, depression and anxiety and other mental health issues are so common in today's world. Whether it's just that we have a name for it now and we talk about it now, if it's things that were exacerbated by the pandemic or whatever the reason, um, I know that I'm not the only person who deals with this. And I also know that I struggle to keep my life organized when I am at the bottom of a spiral. Um, and so I thought maybe the way I do things might help somebody else. I, I don't know. So that's what we're here to talk about today. And um, let's, let's, let's just stop yapping, okay? All right, so, you know, when I started my bullet journal for this year, you know, as you can see, it was, you know, lots and lots and lots. And then, um, you see it started to get a little less, you know, there's a little more free space going on, some things not filled out, that sort of thing. Um, February's been rough, y'all. Um, I had some stuff going on with my kids. I had stuff going on in my personal life. My job has been super stressful and my brain just finally was like, no, nothing, nothing extra. So as you can see, I have done no illustrating this month at all. None. Um, also I'm not dating. I'm, I'm not dating at all. So this page will not make an entrance in my bujo to start with. So, um, so I did this, um, layout and I was like you know it's you know pretty simple like this whole layout took me maybe 15 minutes <laughs> um but I know that I needed to um do something because I do still have obligations that I have to meet I can't cancel everything just because I don't wanna um so I did this um my grandson's face there and I'm not showing him on the internet um and then I just stuck with the same layout the following week um, because it seemed like it was fine. You know, it was fine. Um, but it was still just, it was too much for me to even keep up with, even just like this. So the next week I went and just did this. As you can see, there's no journaling whatsoever. There's a very basic task list. There's no decoration, barely any color. Um, even this was too much. This was too much. Um, so there's lots of blank space here. So this past week, I did this. Um, I wanted something colorful because I thought that might help. I could, I could feel the fog starting to kind of lift a little bit. Um, and I just kind of wanted to help it along, right? But I also knew I was not going to keep up with any sort of journaling or anything this week. I am just not in that headspace right now. And that's okay. Um, I'm getting through every day. When you get through every day, that's an accomplishment <laughs> so many times. So my number one tip is scale it back. Scale it way back to just the absolute necessary pieces of your bujo. Okay. And that for me is a task list, you know, where I, you know, where I can put my appointments, I can put, you know, things I need to get done that day, or even, you know, a little bit of things I did that day. Um, 
you know, like Wednesday, I made Chex Mix and I said, maybe it'll be saltier than I am because I was pretty salty last Wednesday. <laughs> um, so, you know, just things like that, that I can kind of remember, you know, I want to get my bills paid. I need to keep track of my work hours, all those things. But so scale it so far back and just, just do what you absolutely need for you. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be colorful. You don't have to illustrate your entire spread. You don't have to have Dutch doors and washi tape and everything, everything, everything. Do just, just scale it back. That's the best thing you can do for you is just what you need. And if as you're going, maybe you feel like adding a little doodle or whatever, you do it then. You do what's going to make you feel great, okay? Um, or at least maybe like less of a failure <laughs> if you're anything like me. Um, so for me, I just went with a simple box, eight boxes on a two-page spread. I pulled in stickers for color. I didn't want to doodle. So I had these little arrow stickers, super basic. Um, like on Monday, I didn't have to work. My kids didn't have school. So we went to this local like wildlife park. Generally on weekends, my kids are with their dad. We are divorced. So I don't get very many opportunities to actually like do fun things with them. So anytime that a day like this happens, we really try and take advantage of it and do something special. Um, I was not feeling this. I even told my daughter, hey, you want me to be real with you? Here's me being real with you. We can still do it. We absolutely can still do it. I will survive. But if we could have a chill day at home, maybe, you know, have a movie marathon or something, that would be okay too. And she was like, no, I want to get out of the house. And I was like, okay, let's go. So we did. They had a great time. I survived, obviously. I'm glad we went, even if it was just like not my jam that day. I'm really glad we went. Everybody had a good time. But that's what I did. You know, I used a little bit of markers to kind of highlight a couple of things. Um, I had this super cute little sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design. Um, I just ordered from them for the first time. I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I've been on a buying spree trying to, you know, chase that dopamine. And um, so I had ordered some stickers from them. And this sticker was just perfect. Why, though? <laughs> like, why? Um, and then, you know, like I had dinner written out here and I could not deal with cooking last night. So I ordered pizza. It happens, you know, um, today. I only work till noon. I spent my morning having a panic attack and crying and I texted my boss and I was like, I need a mental health afternoon. So I'm out. And she was like, cool. See you Monday. It, I, I, my job has some very definite positive aspects to it, despite being extremely stressful right now. So, but that's, but that's it. This is what works for me. It keeps me not missing appointments, although we did miss an appointment on Monday because I totally forgot that my daughter had therapy um, until we were already like in the midst of doing stuff. And I texted her therapist and her therapist was like, it's fine. Her having fun and getting out of the house and doing something as a family is just as important as a therapy session. So we had a little different therapy on Monday and that was okay. So that's what we do, y'all. If you are like me, kind of sitting in the bottom of a pit right now, I'm so sorry. Um, you're not alone. There are a fair few of us at the bottom right now, I think. But you know what? Tomorrow's a new day. Next week is a new week. And... Um, we can get there, right? So that's that's how I keep my bujo going when depression has me down is I strip it back to the basics and I only rely on exactly what I need. And if I add a little sticker, then I add a little sticker because I love me some stickers. So <laughs> um, 
And that's actually something too. I have been working on moving all of my stickers over to um, these reusable sticker sheets because I have so many stickers. Um, I used to plan in an Erin Condren planner and I don't anymore, obviously, but I still wanna use stickers. So this will be much more functional for me to actually pull stickers out into my Bujo. Um, but that's, I, that's, I've been doing that. I can sit and stick stickers on a page. Ooh, say that three times fast. I can sit and stick stickers on a page and it makes me feel like I'm doing something that's productive. I'm doing something that's necessary and it will help future me, right? So, but it's such a small task. It doesn't feel important, but I know I will appreciate it in the long run and I will thank myself. So that's all we got for tonight. So have a great one, y'all. And if you have tips on how you get through the bouts of depression, um, please let me know. Uh, I, you know, I take my meds and do my things and sometimes it's just not enough when there's a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? So I'd love to hear your tips and I'll see you next time. Have a great night. Bye, y'all.